Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and today I'm in a 2020 Honda CRV with a hybrid. I'm in EV mode currently. I'm at the gas station. I just filled up the tank. And what I'm really curious about is I have to go to Torrington today to um, play some golf. And I'm curious about economy mode versus sport mode. I have both here on the dash. And I really wonder what the fuel economy differences are between these two modes. And oh, if you've never been to this channel before, welcome. On this channel, I do truck and SUV news reviews and interesting stuff, like this kind of stories. Hit subscribe, stick around. It's a good time. So I'm going to drive 35 miles, highway, little city, and into town. When I get to Torrington, I'm going to fill up and give you the hand calculation on my fuel economy. I'm going to drive back to um, Scottsdale area and in sport mode, and I'm going to get to the same gas station, fill up, and give you the fuel economy numbers there when I get them back. And so we'll kind of see, you know, what the difference is going to be, econ versus sport. I'll talk to you about the driving experiences as well and differences. And I'll kind of do a quick walk around. I'll kind of show the exterior too of the vehicle because I'm in it. Why not just show it to you? So let's get started on all of that right now. Let me show you a sped up walk around of this exterior because I want to get back to some fuel economy testing here. So we can see the really nice exterior. I really like the way this looks. Um, they've really taken this design over the years and really evolved it. And it's got a really sleek look to it. Doesn't look really bulky. Um, definitely is a good look at SUV. Coming on the back, we have all wheel drive, we have hybrid. And you can see the shark fin in the middle of that roof line. And we have the touring edition of this vehicle. As we come around, I'll, I'll open this back hatch here in a second. I promise. Oh, there I'm going. Open the back hatch. There we go. Oh, the golf clubs are in there. My logo on the back. You see how that's going to work? Perfect. I have a little cover for the groceries back there, too. I've used lots of cargo room back there. Pretty comfortable rear second row seats. Uh, no problems there. And pretty comfortable front. I got the wood grain. I got a really cool look in the side. Really a nice, stylish interior. There's my sport econ buttons. I'll get more, show that more. The center console has an opening in the bottom, so you don't have like a, a standard storage there. It's pretty interesting. And of course, we got to talk about the engine. This is the hybrid powertrain. I'll go ahead and slow this down for that so you can see that a lot of technology in there. Yes, I can reach the dipstick. It's that orange thing right in the middle, but uh, a lot going on there in the engine bay. Okay, I just finished playing golf. Head over to the gas station. I filled it up. I put in 1.016 gallons. I went 36.4 miles on econ mode, and my... The screen says my average fuel is 30.9, but when I hand calculate that out, I have 35.826. So 35 miles per gallon on econ mode. Now I'm going to press the button, go to sport mode, and I'll uh, pull out here and I'll talk to you some of the differences between that I'm feeling right away, which I'm guessing I will, between sport and econ. So I'm going to go ahead and get my stuff together. Okay, let's reset the trip. Okay, and then let's engage sport mode. Sport on. Guess nothing too else fancy you need to know about that besides sport on, sport on. Oh, wow. I mean, so it's immediate difference uh, as I would expect. Uh, it look feels like the transmission and the engine like had a Band-Aid on it and now it's like ripped off. Like it's so much more lively, so much more um, energy going on. Um, I'm definitely in the power mode more uh, eat quickly, very quickly. Um, whoa, I got to slow down. I almost got to slow down a little bit. I was going so much quicker. It's it's a completely different driving experience, as you would imagine. You know, econ mode and the sport mode, the big difference is there. Transmission shift points, how the brake reacts, how much power you have, how the engine reacts. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot different. So I'm going to turn on my cruise. And I'm setting my cruise at 70 miles an hour, which is what the speed limit is around here. And so I have, I don't know, 30 minutes to go. Yeah, and, and I'm doing 70. I can hear the engine kicking out a lot more. It's not using the hybrid system. It's not using the battery. It's not slowing down. It just, it's kicking out a lot more. And I tell you what, this feels like it's such a better engaged driving experience. I mean, this is how I would drive this vehicle anyways. Uh, just because it's, it's more fun to drive, it's more lively, it's more entertaining. 
And uh, yeah, so we're gonna hit the hit the road with this uh, cruise set at 70. I do have a few spots. I slowed down to 40, 45. And then there's two towns that go through. And I have to drive down to about 25 miles per hour heading through both of those towns. And then coming to my house, I got to drive through town to get to my house on the other side. So uh, speeds will vary. I'm not doing such the whole way. It's not highway the whole way. It's it's kind of a mix of highway with a city, probably 75% highway, 25% city. If I were to kind of throw some uh, statistics out as far as numbers, uh, it is about 70 degrees today. So keep that in mind as well. And I'll be curious what's, what I'm going to get. So currently the screen says average fuel is 24.4 and it's kind of going up a little bit. And I wonder if we can hit the same fuel economy or if we're not going to. I've always wondered if this mode was worth it as far as econ. Is econ worth it? That's been, always been my big question. I know it changes the way the vehicle drives and tries to conserve more energy, but I'm always curious, like, what does it equate to fuel economy? And maybe if you made the video this far, you get the same question. So let's, like I said, I'm going to keep on driving, and I'll get back to the house, and I'll tell you that number. Excuse me, I'll get back to the gas station in town. We'll figure out our fuel economy. Okay, just got back into town. I just fueled up, and so I put in 1.105 gallons. I have a bunch of $2 charges on my credit card. But that was full sport mode, driving the whole way. The screen says I have 38.5 average mile per gallon, which is still strange to me. Uh, 32.5 miles driven. When I do it on my calculator, as I have done here, uh, 29.41 mile per gallon. So um, in other words, the difference between sport mode and econ mode is a ton of difference. And it really does make a difference in fuel economy. I mean, that's, what, like six? That's huge. Now, according to the EPA on this vehicle, I can get 40 city, 35 highway, and 38 combined. Uh, that number you, may be weird about city being higher than highway, and that's because the hybrid system is using a lot of the EV power around town. So that number needs to be higher, depending on how you drive. If you only drive around town, Run on full EV power. Couldn't even see more than that. So I didn't get the fuel economy, but I don't know. I I think I kind of did because I did a lot of highway driving. So maybe maybe econ mode highway, I got close to it. And it was a little windy today. So, you know, maybe my numbers will take a little grain of salt, a little windy going out and not had the wind behind me coming back. But I would think if the wind was on my back heading back, I'd do better in 29.4 in sport mode. Very interesting. Uh, $35,900 for this vehicle built in Greensburg, Indiana. Uh, transmissions from Japan. It is the 2020 C CRV hybrid in sonic gray and black interior. So there are my thoughts and uh, the driving thoughts on the 2020 Honda CRV. Hope you enjoyed the review. Check out this other video over here. It's a good time. Website down below. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.